hey guys welcome back to this new react js course today we will start a series on react and in this series you will learn all about the basics of react js so if you are a beginner in react then this is the course for you we will learn the react in very modern way using all the new features but uh, first of all let's see what react is well it's a javascript library that we can use to create interactive websites and those websites are called single page applications or spas the single page application is where server only sends a single file to the browser and then that file is responsible to run the complete website inside the browser that includes all the uh, user events managing data and the routing between different pages and by routing i mean user can still navigate from page to page but those requests are not then sent to the server each time but react checks each route and then changes the content of the file based on that route i'm sure this can be confusing for some people so let's understand this with the help of a diagram so in a traditional website the browser sends a request to the server and then server sends back the page that was requested but this process is repeated for each request so users have to wait a lot for each request but in react.js server only sends a single file with javascript in the initial request and then after that react just changes the content of the file on each request and this happens so fast that the users don't have to wait a lot for the results and this results in a very smooth user experience okay so in this series we'll be creating this mini blogs application and this is a very simple application where users can basically list their blogs and if you click on a blog user you can see the blog details users can delete and from here users can create new blogs it's a pretty small and simple project but making this you will learn all the fundamentals of react from using state react router how and where to fetch data how to use the react hooks like uh, use state use effect and how you can create your own custom hooks so by the end of this course you'll be able to create your own bigger react applications okay so to start this course you need to know about html and css and a little javascript as well because react is also a javascript library so you need to know that as well and in the next video we will start learning about react.js so see you in the next video